guys, welcome to my five minute review. We are gonna check out the Apple Pencil. Now, I don't know if I connected this, so let me go ahead and connect it real fast. This is my older iPad. It's kind of got a little bit of damage here, but it still works perfectly. I ended up crushing it and it bent to the metal in the back, and, but nothing cracked on the actual screen. So it works perfectly fine. It just popped the back off and kind of like bent it. I ended up bending on a lot of it back, but I still have uh, a little bit of um, an issue here at the side because it's open. So I just got to put a cover back on this, but I'm waiting for a new cover. So this is an I, um, what is an Apple Pencil? And as you can see, it was super easy to connect to it, the device, by just opening the back here and plugging it in. And this is magnetic, so it stays on there. It's not gonna fall off. It does have these little nibs at the end, and you wanna get replacement nibs for this because they do wear out, especially if you do write all the time or draw. I have bought the, the nibs here on Amazon, and they work perfectly fine. I have no issues. So definitely check out those as well and make sure you get a pack of those. All right, so here we go. We're, I'm gonna actually draw a little bit on my uh, picture here that I already did. In fact, let me blow it up and I'll move it sideways. I think it might be locked actually because it's not actually moving. So I will just hold it up for you guys. Okay, so there we go. This is a picture I drew a while ago. And I will just kind of do a little bit of shading here for you. So you can see the different type of textures and stuff and how well it glides. Now I do recommend that you purchase this product too. And I will be doing a review on this page as well. So check out my review on that page as well. And this is just gonna give it more of a paper-like feel. So there's a little bit of texture resistance, which makes it so much easier to draw, especially when you're trying to get more finer detail and it doesn't like wear out your hand as much. Much. So definitely pick out some of these as well. Uh, I'll be putting it on this here in a second. I just had to replace my older one. So I peeled that off and cleaned it. Now I've got to put the other one on. All right. Anyhow, let's go back to the pencil. Uh, you can see here, you just go ahead and glide it across the screen and it just draws right on there. Now this is Procreate I'm using and it has a whole bunch of different brushes. You can make your own custom brushes as well. And you can saw, see all my... Uh, pictures and images and stuff. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them on my, uh, excuse me, not Amazon, <laughs> on my Instagram, or you can actually follow me on TikTok. So under TikTok, as well as Instagram, you can find me under Amina Arts or Amina Arts Collection. It's Amina Art Collection on Instagram. On TikTok, it's amina.art. All right, so you can see, you know, you can easily write on here. You can easily draw on here with the pencil. I absolutely love this thing. You can even angle it a bit and kind of get a little bit of difference, like feel and texture. Now, this isn't like the newer pencils that they have for the newer version of the iPad Pro, where you can actually get a little bit more thicker line, especially in a, pro a program like Procreate. But it is super easy to control even if you do draw like uh, more on the side. I know people that actually draw like this. I even know people that draw like this and they're, they're really nice drawings, but it works from any way that you must um, hold your pencil. Of course, if you have to switch hands, you can easily draw off with your other hand as well. So definitely check out the pencil. Go ahead and pick up like two of these if you can, because I so much like lose these and then was like, okay, oh, where is it? And then I find it later. Also, uh, there's sometimes that I need to replace the nib and I don't have nibs with me because I travel a lot and I've left it. So it's always nice to have a backup because you might lose it, you might misplace it, it might not be charged and you're working on a project. So just pick up two of these if you can do that. Make sure that you do that. Uh, if not, you know, definitely invest in another one in the future. I hope you've enjoyed this review video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.